Hello and welcome back. In this first video of 2022, I want to first send out my best wishes to all of you. And to kick off 2022, let's start with a video of 11 tips for Affinity Photo. The first tips will be with working curves and the pen tool. I will use the pen tool to finish the left ear of this cute cat. The first tip will be to enable the rubber band mode from the toolbar when the pen tool is selected. When enabled, the path is shown in real time before you drop a new point. You notice how the line is drawn each time as I move the mouse. Which brings us to the second tip, using the node tool to select a node and then continue with the pen tool. When you accidentally stop your curve, but want to continue drawing with the existing curve, easiest way is to select the node tool then select the last note and finally switch to the pen tool to continue drawing. You can use the keyboard shortcut P to switch easily between the note and the pen tool or press and hold the command key to temporarily enable the note tool. I found this the easiest way to continue with the pen tool on an existing curve. The third tip is probably one you know. Double click on a layer in the channels panel to zoom your canvas to the clicked layer. And the fourth tip you should be definitely using if you're not using it already is pressing and holding the space key to temporarily enable the hand tool to move your canvas. For zooming in and out I mostly use the option key with the mouse scroll wheel. So the next tip is using the option key and then pressing on a layer in the channels panel. This will only show the content of that layer. It will remain the only layer shown until you click on a different layer. Let's move the ear into the group and then apply a subtract geometry action, which will subtract the ear from the black area, so it gets transparent. While this works, I prefer to use the compound curves. Let me undo the last action and select the both curves again. But this time I will press the option key and you notice that it states compound now. Keep in mind this only works from the main menu and not from the right click context menu. Let's apply the subtract compound action. This created a compound object in the layers panel and both the curves are still editable. So I can easily resize and move the ear curve which is being subtracted. Awesome! Let's move on to another document where I have two images. I want to blend the top image with the glow blend mode to the image below. However, I don't need this fire tower in my composition. An easy way to remove that is by using the in paint tool from the edit menu. I can select the area I want to be removed with the freehand selection tool and then use the in paint fill. But this is not enabled. Why? Because the in paint fill tool only works with pixel layers and our current layer is an image layer. To fix that, I can right click in the layers panel and select rasterize and trim. This will convert it to a pixel layer and now if I go back to the edit menu, the in paint fill is enabled. Awesome. Now the fire tower is no longer there. I can blend it back with the glow blend mode. To show the next tip, I will switch back to the cat document and copy and paste it to the document which I just blended. I will also add some very original text to the composition. By the way, if you didn't know, you can set the font size with the text tool by pressing the mouse button and dragging it to the size you want. Excellent. And here are the two tips. You can click with the command key pressed on a layer in the layers panel and the contents of the layer will be selected. Probably you knew this tip already, but did you also know that you can use the shift key to add a second layer to the selection? Pretty awesome. I now have the cat and the text as one selection. With the selection enabled, I can now add an adjustment, like the recolor adjustment and the selection will be applied as a mask for the adjustment. Of course, keep in mind this is only for demonstration purposes. I could have added the recolor adjustment directly to the cat curve and the text. 
as recolor has a mask i can change recolor adjustment and the mask will be still applied to it with the earlier mentioned tip i can command click on a layer to make a selection from it this also applies for mask layers but also for adjustment masks once i have the selection of the mask i can move the mask However, when I zoom in, you see the selection missed a part of the mask. I don't know if this is a bug, but we can easily fix this. Let me undo this with command C to retrieve back the starting selection. To fix the issue, I'm going to grow the selection with one pixel by using the select grow menu. If I now move the selection, all goes well. Awesome. One thing to keep in mind with creating a selection by command clicking on a layer is that the layer should be enabled. When I disable the group for example and command click on it, no selection is made. A nice workaround if you want to make selections but you don't want to show the layer is to enable the layer and set its opacity to zero. If I command click now, a selection is made even though the group is not visible. Time for the next tip, making selections from a path. Let me add a new image and draw a path around the cube. Once I'm ready with the path, I can convert this path to a selection by pressing the selection button on the toolbar. This will convert the path to a selection and the path is removed from the layers panel. This is quite destructive, so let me undo this so I get my curve layer back. If you want to use the path multiple times for creating selections, I would advise to use the command click option and keep the opacity to zero if the path does not need to be shown. When I command click on the path layer, it does not work. This is because the path has no fill. So let me add a fill color to the path. If I command click now, the selection is made as expected. I can now press the mask button and the mask will be added with the current selection applied as a mask. I still have my curve layer which I can use later to create a selection from it. Let's move to the next tip. Editing a selection as a layer. Let me select the mask from the recolor so I can get a selection of the cat and the text. I can now press the Q key or use the select menu to switch to edit selection as layer. You notice that everything not selected has become red on the canvas and the marching ends have disappeared. This enables a temporary layer I can modify just like a regular layer, meaning I can apply also filters to it. For example, let me apply the spherical filter. If I press the Q key again, I will exit the edit selection as a layer and all the changes we did are now available as a selection. Pretty awesome. With the selection enabled, I can add an adjustment and as you know by now, the selection is applied as a mask to the adjustment. As a final tip, you can also apply filters to the mask layer. I can option click on a mask layer so I can see the mask and apply for example a Gaussian blur to it. Keep in mind that we cannot apply live filters to masks. I hope you liked these tips and thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Keep safe and keep being creative. Until the next video.